Hillary Clinton caught in a thickening web of lies two weeks ahead of Election Day. FBI Director Comey exposing six of the major lies Clinton told the American public regarding her personal email server that she didn't send or receive any emails that were classified at the time, that her attorneys, quote, went through every single email, that she turned over all of her work-related emails, that she wanted to use a personal email account for convenience and simplicity, that her use of a private server and email domain was permitted by law, regulation, and the State Department, that there were numerous safeguards against security breaches and no evidence of hacking, all of which were straightforward lies, just to refresh your memory as we look at more allegations and evidence of corruption. Joining me, political communications expert, partner at Maslansky and Partners, Lee Carter, Arizona State Treasurer and the head of the Trump campaign in Arizona, Jeff DeWitt. Thank you both for being here. Great to be we here. are now looking at an extraordinary level of, uh, of corruption. We've known what was going on with this cartel, Lee, but this is, I mean, we're talking about evidence. We're talking about the proof in front of the American people, and we're looking at polls that say, in the most, C, most recent CNN ORC poll, a five-point differential for Clinton. How can it be? Well, it can be because I think there's a certain level of fatigue that's going on with the email and the WikiLeaks. So one thing that Americans I really Americans are think, getting fatigued with the truth? Well, not with the truth. I think it's just hard to decipher what's going on because we're hearing this over and over again, drips and drabs. One thing that Donald Trump has been so good at in the entire process is labeling, pinpointing that thing that, that sticks. And he called her crooked Hillary Clinton. What we need to have right now with the WikiLeaks and with these things is something that is just yeah. sums it all up that he can just hammer home over and over you know, again. Michael that's Goodman resonate. suggested that the uh, Trump campaign create its own news bureau and go just for WikiLeaks, the the Trump WikiLeaks bureau. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't either. By the way, uh, you Trump know, there's enough material there to keep us busy <laughs> for years. Is the problem the level of corruption that we're seeing? Is is astonishing, and to see it now, you know, we all wondered when James Comey got up there and basically let Hillary Clinton off the hook for these things that would get any one of the rest of us thrown in jail. And we all wondered, and you see this now, the half a million dollars given by one of the top Clinton people out there, longtime yep. friend. Governor McAuliffe. Right. Now to the number it's two the FBI's wife's campaign, basically as much money as her opponent raised, to see that, the ties and the money, it is why we call Washington the And by the swamp. way, she was defeated. She was defeated. Yeah, Governor McAuliffe actually selected her uh, and uh, talked her into running. I mean, there's no level. I mean, the, the, there's just no stop to the corruption that we're seeing over and over and over again. And yet... The Clinton campaign, just on the evidence that has been presented by WikiLeaks, uh, it, it seems to me should be absolutely either under indictment or dismissed by the American people outright. You know, I, I honestly think that there's so much information out there. There's so many levels to it that I think that what has to happen is we need to make it simple for people to understand. Not that people can't understand, but Here's we're talking about you know tens what? and this twenty is, thousands of pages this goes coming to out of time. The it was again the Clinton campaign exposed as saying the candidate wanted people to be quote unquote unaware and compliant. First Americans gave up reading, and now they've given up apparently listening and looking as well. Uh, how do you overcome this? There's just so much information. I think that we've got to make it bite-sized, simple, repeatable. Donald Trump does so well. How about educating so well. people and getting them involved in civics? What's sad is, is all in we two want weeks, is, we can't is quite well, do yeah. we need to. But. You know what, what the American people expect is fairness in the system, and what we're seeing now is that we need to investigate our investigators, which is exactly where we don't want to be. And if you go back to the Nixon days and the impeachment of Nixon, Republicans had to get on board to make that happen. Democrats are not getting on board oh, to hold Hillary accountable because they're all part of the system. They're all in it together. Part of the system. And we have to they are enmeshed in the culture of corruption uh, that has dr been driven by this administration and the Clinton cartel.